tell you twice, tell you three times, and I won't tell you a lie. Oh, well, there's a man. Well, I want to be a well dressed man. I need my a well dressed man. You don't tell me no lies. Take away my tent. Well Dressed Man by Tom McCartney from out Radcliffe on Trentway. Thank you to Kane Ashmore for the original tip back in the day. Welcome to another Music Future session, doing our best to showcase up and coming Nottingham artists. We have an interview with Tom on the way. First, another track. Oh yes, and I don't know if there's a Stone, go chase it down over me. Oh, yes, you can burn oh my soul. Oh, you can take it. Oh, we don't. So when we first heard you, Tom, you were, you were making music that had strong bug influences. When did you change from bug to blues? I'd say I was about 14 and I was on YouTube um, and I stumbled upon B.B. King. Uh -huh. And immediately I found B.B. King and I thought, this is what I want to do. This is the music. This is where music is for me. And from B.B. King, I found Muddy Waters. And for me, Muddy Waters is, for me, he is my biggest inspiration. Because blues and country and roots isn't so much in the mainstream, I hadn't actually heard of it before. So it was literally the first time So it was literally like, I was interested, I was intrigued. I was kind of sort of a bit like, a bit confused. Like, what is this sound? I, don't, I haven't heard this sound before. But at the same time, I was like, wow, I've never heard this before. What, you know, what else is out there that I haven't heard before? When do you make the move from being almost seduced by this sound to actually be making the sound? I listened to the music and I kind of absorbed and I took influence and I... It wasn't immediately, I, right, I've gone from playing these kind of music to playing this kind of music. It was a progression of about a year and a half. When did you start to make the look a big part of who you were as an artist? I guess, uh, I'd say it's probably in the past year I've kind of been taking more of, taking my kind of whole Tom McCartney persona and brand image and all that kind of business stuff more seriously. Mm -hmm. And for me, I was, you know, if I'm going to play the blues, I'm going to do it how it was done. Mm -hmm. And that was 
dressing in suits and nice shoes and nice ties and I thought if I'm going to do it I'm going to do it you know the whole the whole shabam so to speak not just rocking up playing 12 bar blues covers at, at, at your local. How does a Tom McCartney song evolve? I enjoy the songwriting because I can tell stories that I might not necessarily feel comfortable telling in a sit-down conversation mm -hmm. about myself and how I feel okay. so it's the typical kind of expressing myself in the music. Yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the dream? To be able to play music and play my music with my band and you know, my, my friends full time and get a bit of money out of it. Um, to what extent, as I say, I, I don't, I'm not bothered, but just to do it full time. You can find out more about Tom McCartney online and you can check out all our previous future sessions at our YouTube channel, Feel the music. We are back next time with KG. We end as always on a spreading the love note. Please Tom, your three favourite other Nottinghamshire eyes we should all check out. Uh, would be Ryan Farmer, Most Ugly Child and Unknown Era. And finally thank you to the lovely people who've helped make today happen. We've got Red and Riley and Chris and Hayden, Outback Paul and Nathan and the band, Alice as well and the band should be there somewhere but they're not because it's the longest session in the history of the world and they've all gone home already.